Hi, I'm Angie Bird, and I'm so excited to be doing this Whole30 journey with The Good Kitchen. And I thought I would start by showing you how I'm doing some prep and some of my favorite things. So let's go. So um, I have some things out that I wanted to show you as I'm getting started and prepping for this Whole30 journey. Um, first of all, of course, I have my good kitchen meals, which are a lifesaver for me and my family doing this process. Um, a lot of them are Whole30 certified. Everything's clean, great quality vegetables, sustainable meats, um, it's just the best. Um, another thing that I've found is really thinking ahead and having things available quickly and on hand. Like one of the things that I always like to have on hand is ground turkey um, and kale, which is my favorite. Other vegetables like broccoli, red pepper, avocado. Um, because one of the things that I really like to do is just make something I call an abundance bowl. So I like to have every, lots of different vegetables ready to go and you know have some ground turkey prepared um, with some of my favorite sauces that are clean and along the Whole30 path. Um, and so what that does is it just makes it really easy to throw something together. Like I can use ground turkey for a base, put in some kale, put in a red pepper, have some things hot, have some things cold, and it really just makes meal prep so, so, so much easier. Another thing that we can do sort of like almond milk or shakes and smoothies and things like that. There are just so many ways now to get around you know, not having dairy or not having grains on, on Whole30. So just really prepping my kitchen and prepping my refrigerator so that it just makes it a whole lot easier to get meals ready, um, sweet potatoes, garlic, spices are really, really important when you're doing this type of um, journey. And I'm just so excited to get started. And I'll see you in a bit.